Bhagavad Gita, text 2.69 That, which is night for all sentient beings, is like day for one whose senses are controlled. That, which is the time of awakening for a sentient being, is like the night for the introspective sage who sees. Since we never see anyone in this world whose senses are not functioning on some level, how can the complete sensual withdrawal mentioned in the previous verse be possible? Sridharaswami raises this question in his introductory remarks to the present verse. Here, Krishna explains more clearly the experience of the enlightened soul. He sees, and so on. But his seeing is different than that of the ordinary person. Just as an owl sees during the night and is blind during the daylight hours, so also one who has realized God sees only God and his service in this world and not the objects of sense enjoyment. Because the enlightened soul remains neutral in relation to happiness and distress, he appears to be asleep. In reality, he is awake to the true nature of these polar opposites, and thus he alone in this world is alert. Others, while awake to happiness and distress, their lives centered on attaining the former and avoiding the later, are asleep to the underlying reality of life.